So right now, I'm gonna use the, uh, the Wilcox Illuminator. And I don't know if you can pick it up, but oh, I can't see it here. If you can notice that you can actually see the V cell in the center, you see that? So with the RAID, you can actually see the diode or the V cell and the flood around it is what's coming off the lens so that's interesting we focus it open it you can see it better i thought that was kind of interesting but yeah the focus is a lot it's hard to tell but um it's pretty cool now i'll put the d-ball now the d-ball looks like this full open and full close it can i think i can actually see better with this one it's not as harsh but still uh, opening it doesn't give us like a very good result with all of this other interference that we have here it's still pretty nice when you take that spacer out you can really focus that thing down now i'm going to move to the pec 15 full power this is the pec full power you can see we can focus it we can open it. it doesn't open as much as the other ones but it's still a nice clear picture you can see pretty far here but when you focus it it gets really small almost like a laser or well you know a pointer so the range goes too small it doesn't go big enough i don't think then if you use the diffuser obviously and then you focus that you can do more or less with it this uh the star effect just wanted to do a quick overview i guess not really a review of um the lasers that i have here on my addiction to 300 blackout little rifle things so uh kind of not really the laser specs, but just mounting, really, um, because, so here I got a, a Wilcox Raid, um, the D-Ball A3, and a PEG-15 style, uh, and it's really kind of interesting how, how much... I guess I like the lasers overall just because of their mounting. So I I kind of I like the performance of the raid, but I really dislike I don't know if this is going to make sense, but I dislike how far forward the clamp is to the rail and that it takes up so much actual space of the rail. And this is the furthest you can put it up, and because of that you have to really push back your 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 pressure pad for your lights or even if you had pressure pads for this thing or whatever now if it's a longer rifle i guess it doesn't matter but when you're trying to stay compact on something it, it really starts to uh, inconvenience the way that it mounts and then the a3 it's more centered i guess you could say it's more forward than the other ones but the advantage of this one even though it's uh um as forward i guess as this one is on the body it's elevated enough to where you can actually put your pressure pad underneath the laser module so even though if i were to put the rate up here it would really make it impossible to have the pressure part pressure pad here but because it's elevated, I can have the pressure pad here and paracord uh, from this hot pocket and still have all the features that uh, I wanted. And the button is here on, on that. That's another thing that I don't like about that, but we'll get into buttons in a minute. But I like that I can mount this easily on everything, uh, regardless of where the pressure pad is, I have more space to, to play with 
my setups like that versus with this. And then we have the PEC 15 style that is uh, not all the way back, but more further, further back than the others. And this one allows you to overhang more depending on your setup. So you can overhang the front end of it more here. Uh, the rail ends here. So on the Wilcox raid, uh, that I would really have to push this back more. So, and I think I can actually move this even one slot more forward, but then I, I, I'm moving my thumb more than I have to. So another thing that I kind of like and dislike so on a setup like this, I guess I prefer the lasers to be up in the middle, right? But the problem with this, the raid that I don't like, is that the button, this is center line, right here, and the button is off to the right. So if you're trying to do anything, you have the settings right but then the buttons all the way here so i i mean it's not that that bad it's not like a super oh my god it's horrible but if we're comparing it to other laser units it it's kind of like you know when we, when you have to pick and nit, nitpick it's kind of like you know now the thing i don't like about this one is that you might press this instead of this obviously you'll correct very quickly but it's still something that, you know, it would have been cool if it was here, right? And also, we're gonna do adjustment in a minute. That's for button placement. And then, obviously we have this big button. It's a little off to the left, but it's more center than the other ones. And then you got the adjustment here. Mm-hmm. So as far as the mounts go, I, I prefer this one, even though it's a little taller, but with all these high mounts, it doesn't matter anymore for me. I prefer this one, but for Ergo, I guess, I like this one more, okay? And then for laser placement and stuff like that, going between rifles and rezeroing it, this is cool because it's off to the sides. It's not in the center like these two are off to the sides, so I can have an iron sight in the middle. <clears throat> and also the battery is easier to change on this guy uh, when it's like this, right? So with an iron sight, obviously that's not the case. But this one is kind of hard to change no matter what, uh, depending on the configuration. But as is here, that's the case for me, okay? Another thing that's kind of a little bit you know, obviously we're not using the Wilcox whole boss system, but this little window with that little screen that tells you the setting you're on, uh, once you start messing with stuff, it might or not be obscured, but I mean, it's a cool feature to have. They, I don't know if it's worth the money, but it's cool to have there. Now, moving to the adjustment of the illuminator i like this because it rolls just like that it's pretty cool yeah it's very soft you can roll it with no issues now with the d-ball i didn't really like it because it the bikini covers in the way and you got to ratchet with your thumb and stuff so i made these throw levers so i can basically mimic what we were you know going through a little more forcefully press it down move it up um, and then so I guess as was this was my least favorite to adjust and then this one I like how it adjusted I just put these prongs there for again throw levers because I like that but um, it's probably it has the most range uh, for this one I had to take the the lens off and there's a space in there that keeps you from focusing it all the way or opening it not opening it all the way but focusing it all the way so I just took that uh, shim that they had in there off you just take these two screws out 
um, pull it off. Don't breathe in it. Don't get air and dust in there. Take the spacer off and then just put it back in. But um, as far as with the throw levers, I like this one the most. But from the factory with not doing anything to it, I like this adjustment the most because it's super easy. <clears throat> but overall, um, not performance, but just in the hardware, I think I like the, this one the most. You know, as far as the the housing, right? This one the second, and this one the third. But as far as performance goes, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be one, two, three. These are pretty close, but um, just overall, I think I like this one the most, and this is second. <clears throat> but this is not as powerful at all. Uh, so I, I think I still like this the most if, if it was going to, and this is usually slaved onto another gun that I have, but because I've been messing around with this laser stuff for a minute now and comparing them and different setups, I, this one's like the least problematic for me when mounting to different stuff. Um, so that's what I believe in my limited experience so far and if I change my opinion, maybe I'll post a video later. I'm going to see if I can get an NGAL or something to compare those, these to that also. So I'm trying to get more into this laser stuff. But, uh, yep, that's the video. And uh, I'm thinking of making a video per rifle or pistol or whatever. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. You guys might like that. But thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.